Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be attempting to make homemade mac and cheese. So right now I'm boiling the water and then we're gonna start the cheese sauce and all of that. So right now we're just gonna boil the water for the noodles and we're gonna try to make homemade mac yeah! and cheese because I'm also gonna be making it for Christmas. So I wanna try to make it today, my first attempt. The only thing is I'm gonna be using one uh cheese which is we're just gonna try it first with the shredded cheddar jack cheese because this has a blend of mild cheddar monty jack so i figure we'll just try it with this one first to see how i even like it and i figure that's enough cheese so now we're gonna do the noodles into just the pan for now. I'm gonna take all this to I'm gonna dump the noodles in here. That way they're just sitting there ready. And then we're gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna start the cheese sauce. So we're going to take two, well, a stick and a half of butter, and then we're going to do one stick. I'm going to do the other half. Okay, I'll be back. So we're going to melt the butter, which already started melting because the pot is hot. I'm gonna season the butter first, which we're gonna go in with paprika. Onion powder. Black pepper. I'm gonna turn down the heat, garlic powder. We're gonna give that a good mix for the seasoning. And then I lower the heat. Go sit down. Go sit down. Yes, he left. So to start it, I'm going to use milk. And then I'm going to go in with the heavy whipping cream. And I just eyeball to how I think I would want it, which right now kind of looks good. So we're gonna start with that. Cause we also have the butter that has to melt. Okay, I'm gonna put the heat on medium. I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit and then I'll be back. Don't break that book. I'll be back. You guys can see this is how it's starting to look before it like, simmers and all that. So it has the butter, the seasoning, all the good stuff. And then I'll be back. While we wait for that to simmer, we're going to add a little bit of salt. So I do about the palm of my hand, not too much. And then... We're going to sprinkle it in to here. So just like that. And then we're going to do onion powder. Garlic powder. Black 
black pepper. Okay, so now that's seasoned, we're waiting for that to simmer. But now that that part's done, I'm waiting on that part. And then we're gonna add the cheese, which I'm only doing one kind of blend today, just to try it out. <clears throat> because I never made homemade mac and cheese. I grew up on um, Kraft mac and cheese. But I'm like, I wanna try to make homemade for Christmas this year. So I'm gonna make the first batch and then have them try it. If they like it, then I'll make it for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. We're gonna start putting the cheese in. So I'm gonna do one handful, two handfuls to start it. We're gonna just mix it. Well, I thought go sit down. Go sit down. You know I don't allow you in the kitchen. When I'm cooking, I don't allow him in the kitchen just because I don't want him to get hurt. I don't want me to get hurt. And I do not like fire. So I don't like nobody around it. I don't like to have them close. Um, what, Bubba's? What? What? Yes, I'm cooking. Go sit down. Go sit down. Do you want a spatula? Here. Go play with that. Okay, so that is starting to look pretty good out. That is looking nice. I am going to put maybe about two more handfuls because I do want it to be cheesy. Now that looks good. That's a cheese pool. Go sit down. So I'm going to do one and two. I'll let that cook. Now that looks good. What? No, mommy got to use this one to cook. I know you like the little whisks, but I got to cook. That looks good to me. Especially like all the videos that I watched. That looks decent. Let's try. Go sit down. I told you multiple times. I don't like him in the kitchen because I don't like him around fire. So I'm going to let that cook for a minute and then I'll be back. Mama. So now I have the oven preheated. Mama. What? I'm cooking with that one. You see me using that one. Yeah. So I've got the oven preheating. We're gonna take our cheese sauce. Oh my God. Okay. Now we're gonna mix in the noodles. That looks beautiful. I hope it tastes as how it looks. Yeah, 
No. Yes, mix. That's what mommy's doing. Mommy mixing. Okay. That looks... That looks good. I have to say, that looks very good. I'll show you guys from my view in a minute. But that looks good. I'm going to get the rest of the cheese. And like I said, this is my first time making it. So I know like Christmas Day I will probably like fix what I did wrong with this batch. But so far, I don't think you can mess up mac and cheese. But you never know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But that looks good. I'm going to go in with a little bit of seasoning. So onion powder. Garlic powder. Some black pepper. Cause we have to taste our food, okay? I like to season my food. Like one thing you're gonna say is, you're never gonna say is it's bland. Because I never make my food bland. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna top it with a little bit of paprika just to give it a little bit of color. You know, very light with it as I top it. Okay, and then we're gonna top it off with the cheese to give it that golden brown color. So, just gonna top it. All around. You wanna make sure it's coated. Joseph, leave the box alone. Leave it alone. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper to it. Like I said, I season my food, okay? Some people just do salt pepper. Mm -mm. I can't just do salt pepper in my food. I'm not going to do no more salt, so that's one thing we're not going to touch. I'm going to put these back. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat. I'm going to cook it for about 10 minutes and then check it and see how it's looking and how I like it. But if it's not to where I want it, I obviously will add more time to it. And I didn't even have to use all the cheese. I may do a little bit more. I don't know yet. I think I like how it looks so far. <coughs> but... That looks good. So, I'll be back. So, the mac and cheese is in the oven now. And it looks good. So, I'm going to let that cook. And then I'll be back. I'm going to let it cook for uh, 10 minutes. And then check it. So this is how it came out. It looks so good. So now I'm gonna do a taste test in a minute, but that's how it came out. So this is how it came out. Let's do a, I got black pepper on the counter. Let's do a taste test. Mm. It's seasoned.
I always liked Kraft Mac and Cheese, so I was never a fan of homemade. But I'm like, I want to try the homemade again. Mmm. Let's try the cheese of it. Mm. That is good. Wow. My first try of home making homemade mac and cheese wow mm. Mm. yeah i'm definitely making this for christmas The cheese alone on top, well seasoned. Mmm. Wow. That is so good. Wow. I just was like in a daze. 